want the, the convenience of her being safe and us being able to see her be safe. That's one parent's voice as the doors to Hills Elementary School are closing for the final time as part of the Iowa City School District. The Iowa City School Board, you remember, made the decision to close the school as part of a plan to cut $7 million from its budget. The school's been a part of the district since the mid-1960s. It, though, had the lowest enrollment of any of the district's elementary schools. And KCRG TV9's Brian Tavick spoke to the superintendent this afternoon about what the future might hold for the school. Superintendent Matt Degner says they started talking about what the district might do with the building and land, but at this time, there's not a solid plan. However, he did say the options include everything from selling the land back to the city of Hills to tearing the building down. Hills Elementary School closed Wednesday, marking the end of the 60-year-old school's history. Its closure has people wondering what they'll do next. We wanted something where we could literally just walk our daughter to school or be able to watch her walk to school. While Jenny Rust worries where her daughter will go to school, she also says this decision to close the school is going to affect those who live here. It's heartbreaking, you know. It's, I feel like it's really going to affect the community. Um, you know, a lot of these kids, this is what they have. Superintendent Matt Degner says administrators have started talking about what the future may hold for the building, but have not yet come up with a recommendation for school board leaders. We still have to be a good uh, steward of district resources, and so it's, it is a district asset, and so we would have to consider all options there to make sure that we're continuing to serve all students in our district to the best extent possible. Degner says all options means working with the city of Hills to sell the building or demolish the building and sell the land. He says the district won't have that answer until possibly this summer or fall. No firm decision has been made at this point. Um, this was a really emotional time just to know the school was closing. And so, um, you know, I think as, as we move forward here in the coming months, we'll have more of those. It's answers people like Rust are eager to learn. Now with the school leaving, we have to find something different. Degner says the alternative to closing the school would have been letting go of teachers, cutting school programs, and growing class sizes. In the studio, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News.